Well, go on. Good day. I go by the name of Baby Sham, and I got a few things I want to address. Becoming an artist was solely to provide entertainment to the world through my music. Never would I once imagine that I would take on the responsibilities of a country's governing body or parenthood for an entire nation. From where I stand, as someone from the inner city, the ghetto, and a public figure, I have observed where poverty, poor leadership, illiteracy, and lack of opportunities for the Jamaican youths are the top four contributors for the country's high crime rate, not the music. Let us take it a bit further. Are we going to slam or blame Netflix, who is one of the world's top streaming platforms for violent contents in the same breath? Or are we going to remove data from everyone's smartphones and their homes? Come on. Therefore, it begs to ask the question, is audio communication more effective than video communication? If yes, then it is with great honor that I will lobby for myself and my fellow artists, which are my brothers, to take over the government of Jamaica so we can finally, through our music, bring some order and restoration to the country. Mr. Prime Minister, did your conclusion arrive from study done or did it arrive from guilt of mismanagement over the years? People who are already prone to violence and have violent behaviors will always trigger by anything that mimics that their thought and such it is easy to conclude that visual or audio is what caused the person to become violent not because the conclusion is an easy way out that means we should use it to mask the real issue at hand which is poverty poor leadership from both government and parenting illiteracy and lack of communication and opportunities for the youths. An artist is a mirror of society. Whatever society reflects, we tend to reflect it back with music, melodies, and words. If you take away the art from the artist, then you take away the artistry, and then you will have no artist. So please, listen to what the people of the country is really saying, and do the right job, and do the right work. Bless you. To those who say, um, if you have a problem with the rules, go the formal route and take it to the relevant authorities. What you're actually saying to the majority of people in the country, what you're saying to the masses is, go and take the channel that was created to lose you, to mute you, where your descent was designed to die. That's what you're actually saying. Um, that somebody should go into the system created by those we're disagreeing with um, and full of red tape uh, to voice concerns about them. That's what you're actually saying. That doesn't work. And for those who say, then what's the solution? Since you, 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 you say this is a problem, since you're talking about the problem, um, don't talk about the problem unless you have a solution. To you, I say, fuck off. Now, my, the conditions on which my citizenship are predicated does not include coming up with solutions to jobs held by officials we put in power and pay to do that job. It is not my responsibility to do the job. I don't have to come up with a solution. I don't have to go and do the job to say this job is not being well done. That's like you saying to me that this is like I employ a painter. And I show them where I want painted. And I see that they're doing a sloppy job of it. And I show them a whole section. They say they're almost done. And I see a whole section where they miss. And me point and say, you missed a, quite a big spot. And the paint, painter say, shut the fuck up. Is either you're going to come paint or shut the fuck up. And I say work. And I say work. I do not have to come up with an, a, a solution. To be able to say this is a problem or to be able to say this measure does not work. It doesn't work. And it doesn't appear to work from where I stand. I don't have to apply for permission to say that. And if you suggest that I do, you're at, what you're actually doing is saying I don't have full rights as a citizen. And why don't I? 
Why why am I not allowed to say this no work? Why am I not allowed? Yeah, I'm tell you something more strange. When PJ Pattinson was Prime Minister of this country and I was a public supporter of the Jamaica Labour Party, I was, when I say public support, I don't mean on social media, I mean in my personal life. Like, go around with them on campaign and them sitting there, go on stage, go sing for them and introduce people and them something there. Yeah, me they de, on Labour right stage from me a little bit me. And when PJ Pat Pattinson was Prime Minister, I did a song called The Other Cheek. And I was talking directly to him. I didn't call his name because there's no point immortalizing him specifically when it can be applied to so many people who occupy that position. And I was talking to him. I made my position clear. And the response from the PNP was very different than the responses I'm seeing from the JLP now. In my entire life, I've only voted for the JLP. I've never voted for anybody else. There have been times when I didn't vote. But every time I voted, it was for the JLP. I have brought lunch to workers. I have given whatever little cash I could give to campaigns. And I'm finding it incredibly distasteful. I don't want nothing from them. I've never asked for a contract. I've never asked. In fact, the only time I've ever asked a politician to do a favor was actually a PNP politician. I don't, I don't typically ask politicians favors because I think it clouds their ability to do their jobs. So I don't do that. I don't want favors from anybody. I don't want to be friends. I, I don't need to be friends. But you see, when I spoke about how the people on the ground felt about PJ Patterson's leadership, members of the PNP actually had a better response. And the followers of the PNP on the street said that true. The P everybody who felt what I was singing about said, boy, I'm mean, not lie, still no me a PNP, but a true. Now what I'm finding happening with the JLP, I'm not going to lie to you, now, the JLP nauseate the fuck out of me. Because I'm not open to criticism at all. It's a zero tolerance policy for criticism. Criticism. No, remember, you know, they're not artists, you know, they're not celebrity, they're not actor, they're not. They, what do you think they are? They're a public servant. They serve the public. They are employed by the public to serve the public's interest. And when the public say, me not comfortable with this, there's not even an explanation. There's just, there's just fucking rudeness and arrogance and disgusting behavior. And the biggest, the biggest feedback I get from supporters of the JLP is asking me this dumb ass, stupid as fuck question. All right, since you have a problem with it, what is your solution? My solution is you for go suck yourself. If you think I need to do that job for be able to say that job is not being done well, go suck yourself. Now, you can clip this and cut this and put whoever name you want and tell like I say me tell them for go suck themselves. But if them feel the same way, them for suck themselves too. You know, you know, muzzle and muzzle and muzzle and then complain about freedom of speech being lost. But you think freedom of speech is something where you can just take it from one person and it did this, so? You feel you feel stop somebody from speaking, you have to stop freedom of speech from, from existing altogether. So do you really want to do that? Do you want to get to the point where only people who agree with you are allowed to speak? And who is the you? Because you know all are varying opinions upon various things. So if you not allow speech upon this, and him not allow speech upon that, and she not allow speech upon that, and them not, pretty soon nobody can speak. Right now, may I say, curfew don't work. And may I say, them new measures they will put in place, even stupider than the last set of curfew them. Because if it ain't managed with this, the longer short hours, you think it will manage better now? Businesses have to go luck Saturday, because 10 to 12 is not enough business hours for sustain opening for the day. You know if think, what the fuck is wrong with you know? But then look, chill on the brain. And somebody come with that, it means the whole weekend lockdown. And because you have the privilege of food at your yard, you can't see how this is problematic for somebody who hustle Friday and Saturday alone for sustaining them the whole week. Somebody who lives off the weekend. How them are going to sustain? Me can't bother. You know, say I just care and I don't care about each other. Because if you don't care about each other, you don't have bright. If you think, you know that actually think, you know don't care, fuck you know. Okay, I'm not going to live long. And I'm only doing the, using the live because I know say, I'm going to talk for longer than a minute. But, and, and I wanted to share um, just a thought. Because I know say, 
I'm going to take a moment and be sensitive because Morella is say the supporters of the current PM. Um, and it's so weird to say the supporters of the current PM because I would think by virtue of vote, voting for him, somebody was automatically a supporter. But apparently, supporter of him means somebody who blindly runs behind him and agrees with everything he does. Um, the current PM has supporters who seem to think every time somebody criticizes his work or the quality of his work or the lack of his work um, or the direction of his work they're fighting him and they're bad men or they're, they're vindictive I've been called vindictive and I'm under the impression that as a Jamaican citizen it is my duty not only my right but my duty my obligation to my place to hold him accountable and I feel ex extra responsibility where that is concerned because I've voted for him twice so I feel like it is my responsibility as somebody who helped to visit him and the Jamaican people if he's a travesty I am partially responsible for that and so it is my doubly my responsibility to hold him accountable and to make sure that he does what I intended when I voted I didn't vote the last time I wouldn't have paid me because I didn't have a choice. I didn't want to vote for him. And I have no interest in voting for Peter Phillips. So as far as I was concerned, there was nobody to vote for. So I stayed at my yard. But I voted for him twice before that. I don't regret the vote. I regret his behavior. And when I when I criticize his statements regarding the people who buy Big Jill. Now, if you don't see me from my life, you don't see me talk about this all the while. My mother used to send me to a shop to buy Big Jill oil and powder flour and ounces of salt fish for cook dinner, right? For him to come out in a public and make a public statement I talk about him when he speaks specifically, say, um, people who are got a corner shop go buy and him list out the corner shop items so that if you had any doubt as to what income bracket he was talking he made it clear when he listed the items that you buy big jilla help rich people don't buy that may i tell you something you see from me left my childhood home where well, we live in a one room and sitting me not see back big jilla help i from memory me quote it so me can tell you this me know i want a certain amount of money people have we buy big jilla oil so we can't afford a buckle no buy it because big jilla oil it dear for buy big big jilla oil it dearer because you know when them part it up in them little pieces that are, are sitting there the cost goes up so when him specify big jilla oil and half a bread you know nobody rich you go buy half a bread where makes money touch them bread no so big jilla oil half a bread it must speak to a specific income bracket or social class of persons right and when we criticize that what I'm asking is that he stops sim singling out poor people stop singling out poor people when you talk about who is responsible for the spread of COVID when he come back and I say if you watch the old speech you will see some say more but me not seen say uptown people will go up on a yacht that our my blood clot say stop singling out poor people and stop act like a demo spread corona that's it me gone